had this terrible coffee. That's what you get for getting that bodega job. I know. Uh, oh, wait a second. You oh. might be shooting. Hang on a second. I'm not surprised. You're, you're, you're live. You're live. You're live. You're live. You're live. Okay. I'm waiting for the logo to disappear now. We'll talk. Hey, I'm live and I'm waiting for the logo to disappear. There we go. Hey guys, uh, welcome to On Set. We're live. I am Daniel Norton. This is Cadence. The, oh, I forgot to make up something to say. Like, Seth on the Mighty Mixer. And <laughs> we're, we're doing the unicorn. The unicorn. The unicorn. She's a unicadence. So uh, <laughs> we, we're here on Valentine's Day. Uh, Happy Valentine's Day to y'all. Uh, you know, if you are watching this at home with it as, as a romantic couple, <laughs> what's wrong with you? I don't, but whatever, you know, if, that, if that's your into, I'm not going to, no judgments here. Um, if you're recording it to watch later, that's cool. Uh, so we're going to, uh, in celebration of Valentine's Day, we're going to talk about using a single light. Maybe you had two lights at one point, and one light didn't feel like it was really working out, or they, you know, wanted to move on with their life, or, you know, it wasn't, <laughs> who knows, there's lots of reasons why you might only have one light now. So we've only got one light, and you can still move on with it, and that's what we're going to do tonight. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go for it. We're just going to kind of start off, and uh, we'll, I'm just going to use, just for simplicity's sake, you obviously could have one light and a lot of modifiers, but I'm just going to use my one softbox, at least to start with, unless I get crazy. Um, so I'm pretty much all night going to use this Profoto light right here that doesn't have a battery on it. This is the B1X, uh, which is a battery-powered light with no battery on it. And this is my, my, one of my favorite softboxes, the Daniel Norton Signature. I need to get that. So this is the Shamira Extra Small Shallow. Because if there's anything you want to be on Valentine's Day, it's shallow. Yeah. So, all right. So, we got this going. Everybody's wishing you happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you. From all over the world. Uh, From all over the world, happy Valentine's. So, um, we're going to make some portraits of Cadence. We're going to work with the single light, and we'll play with it in a lot of different ways. This one, because I really only have, like, one thing to do. You'll have to, like, feed. No, I have a bunch of stuff to do. We're just going to mess with it. But if you have questions, if you have answers, anecdotes, stories, free gifts, Okay, so that's going at me. I got to move. Okay, here we go. First thing we want to do when we are uh, working with flash is we want to establish that our flash is going to be the only light affecting our scene. We do this every time. I should make a song up for this or something so we can all sing along as we do it. But essentially, we're going to set our camera up so none of the available light in the space is going to affect our shot. Now, there may be times in your life, in fact, we'll do it a little later, where you want to use some of the available light. But you know, for these demos, generally, I'm trying to show what the flash does, so we're going to get rid of it all. The way you get rid of it all, is you just set your camera so that none of it's being recorded. So the way to do that is we set our camera at our maximum shutter speed within its normal synchronization range, because we're going to use flash, right? There is such a thing as high speed sync, uh, but we talk about that in a totally different class, and not every flash has it, so I try not to use that for these. The next thing is you want to set your ISO at the lowest one in the normal range. That should give you the least amount of noise. Um, I do get a lot of questions about using higher ISOs, and sure, when you're in the field, sometimes you need to. Um, but I prefer to try to stay at 100 for this camera, because that's the lowest one always. Once we're there, there's one other part of the exposure triangle that we need to figure out, which is our aperture. The aperture is determined by how dark or bright it is in the space, right? If I'm in here, or I'm at my studio, or I'm in the street, or I'm at a nightclub, or I'm at a church, or whatever, all those, that number is going to change, right? So the way you can figure it out is you just want to expose so that you're underexposed, so we can use the meter in the camera, which I'll do right now, I guess. This, by the way, is a, a Canon 1DX Mark II. Uh, this is a 24 to 70 lens. I always get asked that. So I'm just going to point the camera at Cadence, and I'm going to dial my aperture until it is clearly underexposed. I like to go all the way down to the three stops. Oops, I took a picture of nothing. Sometimes I do that. Um, that's a 5, and it's already a dark frame. So we could probably get away with that. But I'm going to come over here. I'm in Capture One. Can you say that the flash wasn't involved? The flash was not involved in that shot. It's not turned on yet. Yeah. We don't, we don't turn the flash on yet. You've got you know, you to get past that first hurdle before you turn the flash on. So we're going to come in here. I'm going to grab my exposure slider. I'm going to pull it over until I see Cadence. There she is. That's close to three stops. Okay. So at this point, I know that at F5, 250 of a second, 100 ISO, None of the light in the space is affecting my shot. So from here, I can shoot at any aperture 
that is more closed down than that without worrying about it. If I need to open up for some reason, we'll have to do further testing. But I actually, I don't like to shoot at f5. It makes me feel a little uncomfortable. That's like one of those middle stops, like f5. So I'm going to be f, I'm going to be f5.6. And now I'm going to turn my flash on. This flash is in channel three. It is in B. I'll just leave it there because why not? Uh, we're only using one, so it doesn't matter which one you make it. Now, I'm turning off all my other channels just because it makes my life easier. This is the Pro Photo Remote. This camera, not camera, this flash is capable of doing what's called TTL. TTL is through the lens metering, which means we're not going to have to use a light meter per se to get a proper exposure. So we'll just try. So here we go. I'm going to move the light over here. Whenever you're putting a softbox, people always ask me, where should you put the softbox? You always want to put it on the opposite side of the audience. If you put the softbox towards the audience, then the audience cannot see the model. So you don't want to put it on that side. You put the softbox on the opposite side of the audience. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we're going to see. Let's see what it does today. OK, not bad. She's a little hot, um, which, is, which is not uh, uncommon uh, for Cadence, because she's very reflective. Nope, I pressed K, which didn't do anything. I pressed a random button for no reason. Oh, it's a straightening button. I want to turn that off. Well, how, how do you get the little thingy up? With P? The P, P, P. There we go. So I'm just going to go in. You can see her eyeball. Oh, for some reason, mine is set over 100%, though, so I'm not going to use that. All right, so I'm using my focus uh, thing so we can see. But if you look at this, actually, it's not that. In fact, it's not overexposed at all. That's pretty much what she looks like. That's pretty much what you look like. Yeah. I don't see any blown highlights. I mean, the whites of her eyes are because she's looking a little scared, which is not uncommon again. Um, so it did a good job. Uh, why? Because I finally, after six months, updated the firmware, because we were having trouble with it the last time, right? So the firmware is updated. It's working fine. All right, so this is a, an exposure. That's how we get an exposure. But this, this class is not called how to get an exposure, because if it was, it would be done. I think there's uh, speed dating going on in the chat. Speed dating, OK. Hey, who's saying? Oh, I'm saying, are you saying? So let's actually, now let's actually make a photo. So if I'm going to work with. So I need to make some determinations. Let's say, for instance, I want to shoot uh, uh, this photo of Cadence, and I want it to be against the gray background, right? I have to think about how close she is to the background versus my light, right? We've talked about this many times before. Because if she's, let's say, close to the background and far from the light, the background is lit evenly. But what do we have on the background that we might not want? Shadow, right? So we have to kind of play with that distance a little bit. We want to move her, let's say, a foot and a half off the background. Right, so she comes forward. Now we're going to direct our shadow out of the uh, out of the shot, but since she moved closer to the light, the background will get darker if we just expose it here. So my solution is going to be to back my light up. It's all about the ratio, right? The other thing I'm going to do is my shadow is always going to be the opposite of my light, right? So if I if I trace this line, the shadow's here. The way I can move my shadow is basically by raising my light and tilting it forward, and this should adjust my shadow. Right. This also has the added benefit of looking a little more natural because we generally assume or think of light coming from above, right? Because you know the sun and such. Why am I using strobe and not constant light? Well, this constant light is a good way to shoot. However, constant light does not give you the control that strobe gives you. So. I like to use strobe whenever possible as a stills photographer because I can black out this room. You have to think about this. We're standing here in, in Adorama. Well, you guys are sitting. I'm standing. And we've got you know, eight or 900 uh, watts of fluorescent light lighting me, which is like 5,000-ish watts of Kelvin, whatever you want to look at it. That's a lot of light. In order for me to underexpose this by three stops, remember, every time you go up a stop, you double the power. So let's just say this is, is, is a you know, 5,000. That means I'd need 10,000, I'd need 20,000, I'd need 40,000 watts to knock this light. And this is not even that bright. It's completely gone. The way the strobe can do it, I probably did that math wrong, but it sounds right, just believe me. Um, you need a lot of light, right? So this is powerful. That's why we use flash. It, is constant light a nice thing to use? Sure. But if you're in a situation where you can't turn off all your lights, you may find that you can't achieve some of the things you want to achieve. So that's why we're using flash. Um, and that's it. All right, so let's see if we move this into a good position. Actually, can we? Yeah, yeah, let's turn the lights off. 
So I have a modeling light. We'll use it. We don't usually use modeling light, so we'll throw it on. So if I use my modeling light, we can actually see. So this, see the shadow? The shadow is now moved down here. It's still behind her, though. So I have a few options. You always have options in life. I can come this way slightly, right? And now it's gone, right? Because the shadow is where? Over here, right? So she's gone. She's, I'm also shooting you know, with this nice kind of dark, moody feel on that side of her face because she's turned that way, and it doesn't look bad. I mean, she could look towards me, too, if she wanted to. When she does, remember where your shadow's going to go. So if she turns that way, I'm going to get more of like a, a triangle of light. I'm not going to say it. Right? I can control that triangle and create that pattern. <laughs> All right, whoever just said Rembrandt has to leave. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We trigger this online every time. Okay, so <laughs> this looks actually nice, uh, but what we can do is fill the shadow in if we want. Because, you know, at this point, it's a bit dark, unless you're a painter. Name Rembrandt. Rembrandt. <laughs> well, Rembrandt. Okay. All right, so because Seth does this by himself all the time, I have to do it, otherwise I'll look like I can't handle it. So I'm going to hold the reflector. I don't know if I can pull it off, but I'm going to try. Yeah, I probably did. There we go. All right, there we go. Right? So you've got drama, and then you've got clean, right? And because we're only using the one light, but we're, we're using all of our light. We're bouncing this light because we're wasting tons of light going this way. It's not doing anything for us. So by bouncing it back in, we can then use it. Thank you. To, uh, to create you know, a much more clean, soft image. And really, what have we got right now? What did I say 10 minutes ago I wanted to do? A nice portrait of cadence against a gray wall, right, with one light. We're not using multiple lights. One light, we're able to achieve this as perfectly acceptable as like a headshot or something. Yes, if you have more lights, you can refine it more. But even with just a single light, you're going to be able to, to create uh, some interesting looks. Questions so far? I think I did that too fast. I'm going to start over. OK, so when you're going to use lights, no, I'm kidding. All right, so let's do some different stuff. So that's if we want the background to be gray. But let's say we don't want the gray. Let's say that we don't like the background. The background is gray. We're like, man, I shoot this gray background every single week. So let's change it, which is true. So we move her further from the background, closer to the light, right? A little, a little closer. Come a little closer, right? And we can see that this, this is going to change, right? Because she's closer to the light, she's going to be brighter relative than the background. I do not think that the background will necessarily be black right now, but we're going to try. It might be. What do you think? Do you think it's going to be black? You think it is going to be? You're thinking it is going to be? Maybe. All right. I'm not, I'm not going to. It could be. I mean, these things happen. All right. No, it's not black. It is pretty close though, so it's slightly overexposed. So I'm just going to look at my slider here and pull. Up. It's pretty good though. It's dark gray, dark gray, right? Okay, that's because you still got light bouncing around. Also, the angle of the softbox is still hitting the background. So I could feather the light, as they say. I used to have my hair feathered, you know, back in the oh '80s. But <laughs> you know, so we can feather the light try to keep it off the background more. But I can even see the edge of it there. I think they're actually starting to give you like scores like when you do a shot 10. Like oh, 45. okay. Oh, geez, that means I have to do a better job. All right, so. All right. All right. So we've got, the, yeah, see, Cadence was going to say probably what was on my mind right there too, but we don't, we don't say these things out loud. Benefit of a reflector over using a second light. A Brooklyn reflector costs the a fraction of what a Profoto light costs. OK, getting there, right? We're still, now we have almost like a dappled background, like a pattern that comes across, right? We're getting darker, but again, we still have. So the, the, the inverse square, or this stuff, is important. But you can see that you can still be battling with this if you're, if you're, um, if you're trying to get the background dark. What we probably want to do is get the light even more kind of closer to her and over. And the way that I normally do that is I would just put the light overhead-ish, not completely overhead. 
Hmm? Right there. Right there. Put the right there. Come a little closer. Thank you. All right. I'm going to go like this. This is the best part of every one is when I struggle and almost break my neck putting this thing or my wrist doing this. And then Seth pulls out the sandbag. He activates the sandbag immediately. You, 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 I want you to hit your life alert. You know what I mean? Seth, <laughs> Seth, Seth jumps out quickly with the sandbag. <laughs> you can turn the overhead lights on. Or, or, what you know. do you mean, your life alert? Oh, my God. You see the abuse I take here? You see this abuse, right? <laughs> All right. I'll bring this over. So now we're going more in the center. This is going to create a butterfly effect. Not like, oh, sorry. Got to get that. You know this is every time, right? My mother's calling. All right. Sorry, Mom. Just write something in the chat. All right, so we're going to create the butterfly effect, not that movie, which was pretty decent, um, but the light, butterfly of light under her eyes. All right, so I'm going to bring the light. You always want the light to be as close as possible, but without being in the shot. And we're going to go like this. And remember, though, the closer the light is to her, the more steep these shadows are going to be under her eyes. So we need to watch that a little bit. We're kind of just working this angle. And I turned off the modeling light so we can't see, but I'll turn it back on. Do you want, do you want to there it is. No, I think that's probably fine. So I'm looking. Hang on, I Looks good. Looks decent. Not bad. All right. We're still in TTL, just flat up. They just said you declined to call from your mom on Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> You should know that my mother would not have that ringtone. This is like the best chat room we've okay. had. All right, so we're getting a little hot on the exposure, so we're going to compensate for that, right? So we can see that it's happening pretty consistently. So um, what I'm going to do is, because I only have one light in this group, if you use portfolio lights, you need to use the exposure compensation in camera if you want to reduce the power. So I'm going to drop it down a bit, and we're going to come in. There we go. All right. So now the exposure compensation is kicked in. We have a proper exposure. We have more of like a, a butterfly lighting. We're getting close to black, but the reality is, is if we go all the way to black, we're going to lose our hair. Right? right now, we just have a little bit of it that's pulling up. So I think that's as close as I want to get. Patty's asking, would a grid help make the background darker? Would a grid help make the background darker? Absolutely. If somebody wants to buy me a grid for Valentine's Day. Um, all right, so we can bring the reflector in again, because every time this reflector gets used during one of these live streams, Seth gives me a nickel. So she's going to hold it this time? You're yeah. going to make her hold it? Well, I've already proven that I don't have to hold it, so. Mm -hmm. Plus, I love the comments about how bad her shoulders will look because she's holding the reflector. Those are my favorite comments. <laughs> no, of course not. That's right. You're you tell them, kids. All right, so now we've got another style of like a clean portrait, right? Really simple. Hmm. That background, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Mm, let's light mm. up that background a bit. Yeah. We could lighten up the background. Hmm. We're not allowed to touch another light, but that light is gone. We had that light in our life at one point, but it's gone. We are on our own here. So if we want to lighten up the background, Cadence will take a couple steps back. There you go. <laughs> and I think I'll raise this a little bit. Right? It's all about the angle. Can you do this with speed lights? Can I do this with speed lights? I can. Okay, lighter, oh, wow. right? Oh, right? Magic. All with the same background. <laughs> with the same. Light. <laughs> it's impressive. Uh, yeah. Okay. The other chat is on YouTube. There's YouTube and Facebook. Oh, there's YouTube and oh, there's YouTube and Facebook chat. So if you guys are online, or if you're sitting here in the chat room, uh, there's two different ones. Yeah, the YouTube one gets a little crazy, I think. All right. Anyways, we're moving forward. We're killing it. I don't know what time it is because my Apple Watch died, and they, Apple has the weirdest charger for their watch. Yeah. Why don't they have a regular charger, Apple? So they're asking, they've heard the term Hollywood glamour lighting. Would you explain what that is and maybe demonstrate it? <laughs> We've heard the term Hollywood glamour lighting. Would I explain what it is and will I demonstrate it? No. Today? <laughs> no. <Long time. laughs> um, 
Typically, that's going to require uh, hard sources, uh, often a, a Fresnel uh, lens. It's usually more than one light. We can't, don't we have the Aries in there? Yeah. I'll do it next time. No, you won't. You're doing three headshots. I'm not doing, no, I'll do it the time after that. <laughs> You're not doing it on that one. I'm not doing it on the next one because the next one's a headshot thing. So I will do it the next time after that. You can do it live on your channel. Or I'll do it live on my channel. I will do a Hollywood uh, glamour of light for you want, if, for you guys or girls. All right, cool. Right, I'm not gonna do it now because I don't. Listen, if I'm gonna have one light source, that's I'm not probably gonna go with a Fresnel because, you know, I mean, you end up with who you end up with, right? I mean, that's life. You're asking for a shot with the white than with the silver. Oh, you want to see both white and silver Brooklyn. So what? So what is white Brooklyn? Is that like Williamsburg? <laughs> don't start. Don't. And, and then then then, then then sil silver would be like. Uh, Bay Ridge. Bay Ridge. I don't I don't know anything about Brooklyn, so I don't. <laughs> What's the, what's the Dumbo? That's the other part. Dumbo. Just stop. Well, <laughs> White Brooklyn. Well, I'm saying. Stop saying it. All right. Seth is misinterpreting my words. The gentrified Republican. All right. The all right, so this is white. And then we'll go silver. And we'll make the same face. And she'll do the exact same face because Cadence is a pro. Here we go. We lost a little bit of light because the TTL was like, what? So I'll just bring it up a little bit because just for a comparison. Oh, that is almost the exact same face. <laughs> yeah, it is. She's pretty good like that. Actually, Cadence is not even a real person. She's a mannequin. She's like, <laughs> she's like, she's like, <laughs> I'm not a real person. Yeah, I mean, the main difference that you're going to see in this particular case is that we've got a little bit more specularity, but mostly you're seeing it in the catch lights because you can see it popping more. You are getting a little bit more fill under here. But it's not that much more. So in this case, it's not a huge difference. Sometimes it can be. It really depends on their, their skin, like if they have certain kind of makeup. If we want the background to be even more gray, we can what? Step back a little bit more. There we go. And we raise this up again. I feel like I did the gray background demo already. Well, why am I doing it again? <laughs> now I'm doing one light gray background. All my demos are about gray backgrounds. I'm obsessed. All right, closer to the background. OK, couple things though, right? The light is getting harder because it's further away from her, right? So we're definitely seeing a more pronounced shadow edge. Right, exactly. Right, we see the difference? More pronounced shadow edge. That's not going to necessarily be uh, flattering on everybody. We gotta, you got to think about your subject and what's going to be best for them. Or what you want to do and forget about them. Who cares about them? We care about the back, about the subject, right? All right, so that's kind of clean, right? One light, that's what you want to be able to do. You guys are good. You can start your portrait business. But let's get a little more funky, right? We want to get funky? Yeah. It's Valentine's Day. We're getting funky. Yeah. Let's do it. So if we, well, we can think about this light now with all those things we just learned, right? We can use our light to create various effects. So. Number one, let's get her, let's do something that's a little bit more dramatic and get her, uh, you know, separated from the background, but with the background being dark. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to move the light behind her. <laughs> Take the sandbag off. The one sandbag in that rama. <laughs> At least. <laughs> At least we have one. All right. All right, so I'm going to bring the light back here. And then we'll bring Cadence over to here. And I'll come around this way. I'm not using a tripod today. I don't know if you noticed that. Look this way. Yeah. I didn't feel like carrying it a little more. Yeah, there we go. There we go, perfect. All right, so now TTL is notoriously uh, finicky with backlit stuff, so let's see what happens. OK, so it's a little bit bright, as expected. You notice we got a little bit of catch light in our opposite eye, so it's not just super dark over there. We can, we can still use the reflector if we want, but let's hold out on that for a minute. You know it'd be cool? What if we had a warm gel that we could put on the reflector? Uh, I got three quarters. Have you got a mirror? What's up? Have you, got, 
Yeah. No, I'll take I'll take a warm Joe. Do you want a th what do you want a full or a full? Yeah. Uh, I don't have a full. All right, I'll take what you got. What's it's that big thing? I'll take that. That's a cut up three quarter. Okay. All right. Whatever you got. Oh, I'm not picky. I'll take whatever I got. Yeah. When you randomly ask for a gel in the middle of a demo, you got to take what you get. You know. Yeah. There's a big hole in there. Okay. That'll work. That's perfect. <laughs> All right. All right. That's for my oh, there is a big hole. <laughs> well, that's okay because you just do it. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. All right. So we're going to, no, but on the silver side, I think. Hang on a second. Hang on. Just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, he's got something. He's got clamps. All right. We're building stuff. You want to so, do you yeah. Want silver? Yeah, I think so, right? That makes the most sense. Sure. Well, if you can aim it, yeah. I can aim it. I have people here to aim old, it. Old shaky hands. No, I'm going to have this gentleman do it. Yeah, come on. Hold okay. the reflector. Yep, do it. Can come, come. It? Yes, of course. All right, what are you doing there? Yeah. You're holding the reflector, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so what, what are you doing wrong? Me? You're not earning any candy right now. What are you doing wrong here? Oh, my hands are. <laughs> no, you're holding the reflector, and what does the reflector do? It bounces light onto the model, right? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. And you can't see the model, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So come over here where you can see the model. Oh. There we go. Oh. You got to see where it is, right? So you're going to look. Like the light's coming here. She's over here. And then the candy now. Yep. Don't be afraid. You can totally have candy now. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. If you're going to reflect light, you got, I'm going to lose the camera. Let me turn this. There we go. If you're going to reflect light, you got to see. You got to see what you're reflecting. Don't be afraid. I mean, Cadence is a little bit intimidating. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit. All right, now we've got this warm glow on that side of her face, although that one fly away hairs. Now that I got my hair cut, I feel like I got to criticize people's hair, so I'm going to. No, it's okay. No, you just had one fly away. If you could just fix it. Otherwise, you saw it. Because yeah. it's a giant, by the way, shooting with a giant screen so the model can see right away is awesome. You should just all do that always. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Right, now we've got this warm go, right? Subtle, yes, move it in. Pull it more out this way. Yeah, that's good. Oh, 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 jeez. I don't see with my back. There we go, right, now we've got it more wrap around. Yeah, pretty good, right? Say thank you, Seth. Thank you. Seth, say thank you, Seth. There you go, all right. Nice. Now we've got a bit of a warm fill going in there on that side if we want, right? So we bounced using the gel. Okay? Easy enough? Now we have a dark background. Oop. Sorry, I don't want to use gel. Perfect. Thank you. We're done with that. We're done with the uh, okay. gel, right? Yeah, no, we're done with the gel. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, thank you. So, okay, so let's go back to the more dramatic, though, because I, I like drama. I'm all about the drama. Any questions? Thoughts, concerns? No, nope. okay, good. Easy. If anybody has more than one light and you want to then sell the light, Andy buys them in the back and uses the front. Okay. <laughs> so let's go almost completely like this. Yeah. So this is interesting, right? We've got her, like, mostly profile our lights over here. But remember that when light leaves a, a softbox or anything, it comes out at an angle, right? So if you think about a softbox versus, let's say, an umbrella, right? A softbox is going to have a certain spread of light, generally around 120 or so degrees, whereas, let's say, an umbrella is generally going to be the more like 180, right? So you've got a wider spread of light immediately from it. So depending on what you're using, that will help uh, guide where you put it. Because I only have the softbox, we're going to work with the softbox. I mean, if only there was a store, I could buy things. No, I don't want an umbrella. I don't want those umbrellas, I'll just say that. All right, that's nice. We got a little, <laughs> that's kind of moody and looks nice. We got the little triangle of light. I'm gonna go a little higher with the light. I think it'll look nicer. A little higher. Nice. You're scared. You have to give motivation to the model. <laughs> <You're scared. laughs> okay. There we go, that's perfect. She is not scared at all. I'm not scary, that's why. There we go. Now we raise the light up. We can see the beautiful shape of her face. She's got some mood going on. And again, if it's too much shadow for you, you know, you could, oh, you're just making a move. He's on it. Well, go for it. That's it. I mean, what can I say? Go for it. 
I'm not saying anything. You got it down. This time would be different. Then. Yeah, well, put, yeah, put it in the right spot. You're going to be graded. <laughs> You're going to be graded? It's 40% of your final. <laughs> <laughs> it is 40% of your final. There you go. Can you see her? Yeah. Right? Don't be afraid. Yeah. I'm not scary, but Cadence is. There we go, right? And you can, and, and listen, we, we're doing two extremes here. If you don't want it so much, you can back it up, back it up yeah. or go this way with it, right? Okay. Is that a snow plow? Why is there a snow plow now? Oh, yeah. See, now we've got a little bit less. So a reflector is not always. The triangle. And the triangle is still there, right? You like that, huh? I'm, I'm doing a triangle every single time for you. <laughs> All right, so hold on, what happened? OK, depending on where you place the reflector, the color of the reflector, whether it be silver or, or, or white or gold, if it's dappled, whatever, is going to affect. It doesn't always, it's not always like completely black, clear. It can be somewhere in the middle. And if you're going to only work with one light, you're going to want to play around with that, right? Because you can find these kind of middle grounds. That make sense? All right. We're cranking. I got a small coffee today. Instead of a large. You have less hair to feed. I do have less hair to feed. OK, so I, I love this like kind of backlighty thing. But the way I often do it, and I usually use a strip bank to do this, but I think we can get away with this because it's all we have. We want to use the magnum. We might have to go there in a minute, but let's stick with the softbox for now. This is very twisted. OK. So what I'm doing is I'm straightening this all out because I can't work with it on straight line. And I'm going to go like this and move in close. There we go. She feels like she's being bathed in light now. I mean, wow. Wow. It's getting out of control. We haven't even started happy hour yet. Okay. It's a project. <laughs> yeah, but you can face into it though. That's it. Good. We can do this. Yeah, there we go. Right? A little hot. A little hot. A little hot. It's all right. We got it. Don't worry about it. It's under control. I'm going to go over to capture one. Okay. We're looking at about a stop. All right. So I'm going to make some compensation. I'm going to switch to manual. Okay. Just to see, I went down one stop. There we go. All right, nice and clean, right? By moving the light more in front of her, now we're getting a little bit more of an even wash on her face. So depending on the style, even just the slight moving of the softbox, right? We're moving it around. The where we move it is going to change where the light falls on her face. It's going to change where it reflects. It's going to change everything. Make sense? Uh-oh. All right, so the people are asking about the proper placement of the triangle for the Rembrandt lighting. Go look at Rembrandt paintings. That's all I'll say. Well, it's all about the actual background. Yeah, it has to do with the background. It has to do with the pit. They're not, it's not always the same. It's not about a triangle. Yeah, it's not about a triangle of light. That's what they tell you in photo school. Forget everything you learned in photo school. All right. You, <laughs> Seth hates Rembrandt light. <laughs> I do it every time. All right. Yes, question. Well, if I used a beauty dish, it would be more Brighter. beautiful. Exactly. Yeah. Right. I mean, come on. With the position of it would it be the same? You want to do it? Oh. All right. If we use a beauty dish, would it, would you put the position this position the same? Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, let's put the grid on it too. Why not? Sure. Yeah, we're going all in. You can't go half beauty dish. That's right. Now. What, what you got to remember about the, the difference between a softbox and a beauty dish when you're this close to her is that if you hit her with the softbox, yeah, it's soft. The beauty dish is not soft. She does not want to be whacked with it. So make sure you clamp that thing down. All right, step on in to the beauty dish. Seth where's, clamped it down. Where's the sandbag? Safety <laughs> <laughs> first, Daniel. Kansas is a pro. She needs a sandbag on everything. models, man. You know? <laughs> 
We only use the sandbag one time to demonstrate it. After that, it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the union now? Yeah. I'm in the union. I, I need a grip to put it in. All right. <laughs> I need an electrician only to touch it. All right, we switched to the, to the beauty dish. I'm going to switch back to TTL because I'm wild. Wild. I am wild. All right, and let's do the same thing with the beauty dish. Here we, this is for you. This is for you. All right, here we go. What do you think? Beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's. The triangle is more defined. The triangle is more defined because the light is actually, uh, you know, a little bit um, harder. Um, you know, when you're start, size is what determines it, and you would think the beauty dish is actually bigger, but they're they're kind of the same size, but this one's got more a little bit more coverage, and even that little bit is making the difference wrapping around, and that just goes to show. And the, the grid will the grid adds contrast, so you're going to get a little bit more uh, darkness with the grid uh, as well. So the the grid combined with the fact that it's a little bit the shape of it's a little bit different. You know, this is why um, we want to have different lighting. Uh, tools. Can they see the difference with no grid? Sure. Um, because each one is subtle. And when somebody asks me, what's the difference between this and this, right? How do you really talk about that? It's subtle, right? And as you refine your lighting, you'll learn what you like and what you don't. And to somebody who maybe is just starting, some of these things don't even look different at all. Like if I showed you both those pictures and I told you they were both a softbox, you probably would believe me because it's not that different. But as you progress and you learn what things do, you start to say, no, the grid has that little bit of extra contrast, or you know, the, the shape of it's a little different, so it's wrapping different. Then that's how you start to build up your style and how you do things. So but we're going to do it without the grid, because people will love to see me put the thing back in, because the grid is all beat up. <laughs> okay, it's about to be very bright. Whenever you take a grid out, you have to pretend like it's pizza. Pizza. This is the silver with the dent uh, style. <laughs> And the brown tape. And, and the, the brown, brown tape. tape. With the dent? Yeah, the, the dust adds a little. The dent is extra. The dent's extra, and the dust adds a tiny bit of diffusion. All right, so let's get a little Rembrandt. Oh, all right. So. Oh. A little swash. A little frightening. Yes, yeah. you are. It's it's a, a little frightening. You look a little frightening. OK, let me get the exposure correct. All right. A little different, right? Major thing, background's got some light on it. Why? Because the grid is not controlling the spread of the light. It's, it's a little bit less contrasty. You can see the like, skin tone and stuff. Um, it's not, the, the whites aren't popping as much. But basically, you're looking at, uh, you know, it, if you're not caring about the wall, if you're standing in the, the middle of a large space and there wasn't a wall so close, then it's not that different. You need the grid when you need the grid, right? Once you buy it, though, and it's $300, you're not going to not use it. Why would you not use it? It's $300. Would you like it back? I would like it back. It's $300. Pizza. It is a pizza. And it's fun to look through. Yeah. All right. But the grid, by the way, the grid gives you a 25 degree coverage. I will never get this back in here. Probably not. There we go. That's good. Don't drop your beauty dish multiple times and then step on it and kick it and you'll have no problem putting that in. OK, beauty dish. Now we're using the beauty dish. We might as well just keep rolling with it, right? So we've got the beauty dish. We have this kind of, uh, I put the grid back on because the grids are expensive. And uh, we're going to keep working with this. So another thing that you could do, actually, I kind of want to do this without the grid. All right, just so that. Now we use the grid. The other thing that we can do, and we do sometimes here, is we can actually cr simulate two light sources using the, uh, the single source, basically using it as like a background light and, and swathing it past our subject. So then we can bounce the light in. This is not going to give us as much control, but we're going to do it. So I'm going to push this back here. And I'm going to keep using the beauty dish because it's on there. And what I'm going to do is, if you could take like a maybe two feet forward. Perfecto. All right, so she walks into the light. I'm going to turn the light and feather it off from her, right? So it's touching. It's basically lighting her hair, right? You could call it a. Hair light, hair right? Light. Yeah, you could if you want to. I mean, I wouldn't, but you could. OK? 
right? Moody, right? So we have that, right? And we're like, when you shoot that, and then you're just like, don't worry about it, I'll fix it in post. And you're good. A little Photoshop, you're done there. You don't need to do anything else. But now what we can do is we can take it, let's say, what if I had a silver reflector, right? And we want to get light onto her face, so we're going to bring. Her face, so it should be here. Like this. Right? You can get closer. <laughs> so you can do it a couple different ways, right? You could get in over here, but now you're picking up the feather of the light. Where's most of the light? This way. That's right. The most so light's over here. Way. Yes. So you can get more light from grabbing the face it. Now. You see that? Now you see the face, right? Yeah. We can even we, go closer. You could go closer if you want to. You don't want to, is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to. You could go closer, no, but no, you I don't can't. want to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to bounce some of this light back. Now note that this light is not going to be nearly as bright as light like coming from the back. So if we get a proper exposure here, this, this hair light is going to be overexposed, which, you know, that's what you live with. You only have one light. These are the compromises we make in life. Okay, so now we're going to have to adjust our exposure. The TGL is not going to like this, so I'm going to... Oh. All right, we got to go home. That's it. We ended it. We maxed out our exposure, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 2.8. Oh, I hate changing things, though. I'm opening up my lens because I ran out of power. It happens. Plus, I mean, it's 2.8 lens. It costs a lot of money. There we go. All right. That's not bad, right? It's got a certain look to it. It's got a little, it's, 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 it's would you say it was cinematic? Yeah. Yeah, why not? It's cinematic. Cinematic. Right? So we have that vibe going on. Just to be sure, though, because I can feel all comfortable and happy with myself, but I don't know if this light here is affecting my shot currently. So I'm going to take a shot with no flash at 2.8, make sure that it's not. OK, it's still not, right? So even at 2.8, because Seth turned off some of the overheads, uh, you know. No, it's good, because we're, we're shooting at 2.8 now. We are at 2.8. And once you go to 2.8, you know, it's like you're there. So that is a certain feel to it, right? What if, what if? We had a red gel. What? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. You need a red gel? Yeah, what do you got? Yeah, or blue? Pick a free what do you color. got? Blue. <laughs> Let's go blue. Do you want CTB or you want blue? I want CTB. Okay. okay. Seth is very patient. <clears throat> That's fine. This is blue, though, not CTB. That's fine. I'll take it. It's going to eat up light. Okay. That's fine, because I'm going to take this gel. Yeah, you want your red right Valentine's Day. Oh, or yeah. Or add this smoky, pinky, mango-y. We can make a fruit salad. OK. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> I'm glad you laughed at my jokes. Remember that we have a large, large, large-ish light source, right? One of the advantage of this is you're going to ask online right now, ready, get ready. They're asking, can you do this at speed light? It's going to be more difficult to do what I'm about to do, unless you add some kind of modifier for it. Because because my beauty dish is so big, I can cover part of this, right, with a color gel. Then when I do that, only that light, for the most part, is going to hit her, and then the clean light will go past. That clean light is what we're going to use for bouncing it back in, right? That's right. Um, they're actually asking if you handed out free candy. There is free candy by the register. What do you want to do, like top up? Yeah, I want to get just the edge of it. You know, it's, it can look the direction that you're going to look. Uh, yeah, that's well, good. That, that's saturate it. More in? Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but then I'm going to get too much. Yeah, edge? yeah, yeah. I want edge, edge, edge. edge. Ooh. Ooh. It's important to, to stare like this when you're trying to figure out the light. That, that way, the, that way the, the model feels like you're doing something, even though you're just really thinking about like if the coffee is good or not. Whether the coffee is good? It's not, so I don't have to think about it anymore. It is actually, it's, it's, it's at an all-time low. Like, this is bad coffee normally, but this is very bad coffee today. Yeah. Where did you go? A bodega here in New York. Yeah, the bodega. Case closed. Yeah, bodega coffee. bodegas for coffee. I know, but I do. All right. All right, we've got the red on her hair, right? my hair looks red. I know, right? Now, Brooklyn. It's important. Don't bounce back any of the red light. Okay. Okay, do it. You're on it. There 
That looks about right. If you're ever unsure, you can ask the model, because they can tell. I know it's weird to talk to girls, but, oh, we got a little red on there, though. Yeah, you're spilling. That's what it's you're too, it's spilling, yeah. We got too much spill. Forget that that happened. We're going to pull it over. OK. All right, try that. Nobody saw that. What was it? There we go. Yeah. That's yeah, it. That's very <laughs> well, I know, right? Very good now. <laughs> yeah. When you're doing the reflector and the model looks at you like this, that means you're not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> that means it's not being yeah. Reflected. yeah. They can clearly see the model, the lights not on them. Nice idea. Yeah. <laughs> I still feel like she's getting red on her, but I kind of like it. Yeah. No? Whoa. Oh, hey. What happened there, oh, guys? I reflected light. Cadence yeah. <laughs> turned it on. Next thing you knew. Okay, that's not bad. It's clean. Uh, we got 2.3. All right, so a couple stops over. Oh, because I was in manual. I didn't change anything. I know, I know, I know, I know. You get so used to being in TTL, and then you forget that you're not in TTL. And one, two, and two, three. Okay. I'm turning the power down on my flash. All right. Got the clean light going on. There we go. Now we have a cleaner light on her. We've got this little tinge of the red over here. I mean, she's got a little bit of red on her skin. You're not going to be able to overcome that uh, very easily. Um, you know, but, well, well, if we move the gel off the light source, it would be the way to do it. Oh, no, do it. Let me see. Let's see. Oh, you got to go to it. All right. If you, I mean, if you got a plan. fighting on Valentine's Day, Daniel. <laughs> okay. See, this is what I get from this guy? All right, so we've got the red, redness in her hair. We've got clean color on our skin, and we're pretty good. You know what we could actually use here, though? A second reflector. I know. I have two. I know. Okay. Well, oh, well, you can handle both. I think we can. <laughs> Somebody want to hold a reflector? I can hold one. Tell me. Put the gel on the bottom half, hold it over, reflect the top, let the, ba the bottom hit the back of her hair. OK. Do it. Move it down. All right, so we're going to change it up a little bit. Actually, if you go back about uh, maybe a few, a few months, I did a video like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but without the, but not with the gel, though. Don't yeah. I also did one with cinefoil. We cut. No, that wasn't me. Oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing is we're moving the gel to the bottom of the light to get a little shoulder action. We're going to shoulder the gel, if you will. This is not a bad reflector, but we do, there are some wrinkles in it. Oh my god, you know. I mean, there used to be a much cleaner silver one. I don't know what happened to it. You guys keep framing them back, then they bend and they, I don't know. You know, you guys don't appreciate anything. I'm over here trying to make a nice place for you to shoot. It's OK, it's OK. Right. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is I mean, I'm not firing or anything, but uh, yeah, we're going to put it on a stand, I think. So we're going to use our reflector. Because Adorama only has one sandbag, this one will not get a sandbag, but it's only got a piece of cardboard on it, so we should be OK. <laughs> that looks perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Seth. Like, Can we get a hand for Seth? Woo! Woo Nothing. Me. Nothing for Seth. He forgot Valentine's Day. He forgot You actually did when you were like, <laughs> when you were like, yeah, it's on the 14th. I was like, oh, on the 14th? <laughs> and then you are like, oh, oh, no, it's Valentine's Day. Uh, no, I knew that it was Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm very aware of the holidays. Google tells me. Google tells you. <laughs> Seth's got me. You're going to give me a clap? Facebook warns yeah. you. You want to push the rod? Yeah, let's do it. Let's push it. Push it good. Oh little salt and pepper? Salt and pepper? No? No? Salt and pepper? A little bit of I didn't say pepper. pepper. I said pepper. I said pepper with an A. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be all red anyway. She's going to be all red. 
white Brooklyn salt and pepper. <laughs> I don't think it's hitting it. Where I think you we, 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 we got to <laughs> We got to tilt it flat, yeah. We got to flatten it. All right, we're going to flatten it. There we go. Yeah. That's it. All right, cool. I mean, we know it's going to work, so I won't take any shots. So next thing we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, here we go. All right. I'm back to T. I'm back to TTL. <laughs> he puts me out here on a wire, right? Here I am. He's like, should we do this? So, okay, sure, no problem. No, this is going to work really well, actually. The beauty of shooting live is that yep. we don't stick to it. Oh, oh, oh. It's a little dark because I have my exposure compensation. Yeah, white instead of silver. I, th I agree, actually. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because the silver's a little bit too specular, so it's doing a little bouncy bounce. Yeah, it's causing. What'd you just say? Oh. You mean maybe the reflector wants to be lower than this? And then the, pro, the, the pro reflector guy Since says. <laughs> this guy, you let him hold the reflector for a second. Next thing you know, he's over here telling us. <laughs> he's running look, the show now. Look. I have experience of holding. Yes, you do. All right, we got the. This guy's walking a little taller out of here. Oh, you, get, you get a little bit of power. Next thing you know, you're taking over the show. This is what happens, guys. <laughs> okay. I think the white's a good idea. I think what's going to happen, though, is we're probably going to get. I think you've got to pitch it, though, a little bit. Yeah, a little pitch. Like that? Mm, okay. A little more? No, I think not so much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, 25. Well, well, the angle of incident has to equal the angle of reflection. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody really knows what that means, but we just say it a lot. Okay. Angle and angle up. Yeah, angle and angle up. Yeah. Okay. Having trouble autofocusing with the uh, completely oh, dark scene. <laughs> <laughs> you took too long. All right, so yeah, let's lose the grid. Then you're going to have a hard time with the gel. OK. Let's cut the grid in half. You want to just angle it like yep, this? Yeah, flatten it. Flat, flat, flat. Perfect. This is going to go this way. Because if you can see the, the wrong one on yeah. this, then you're seeing the reflection. Right there? She knows that. <laughs> like that, right? <laughs> that looks better. That flat, right? Yeah, yeah he, he pitched it. You can't. Yeah, just let him do it. It's fine. <laughs> He's from Brooklyn. Wow, that felt like a lot of power. Oh. Oh, all right. All right, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> okay, so if you have this like crazy, <laughs> so we have this crazy overexposed flare. So the, this is this is really really simple to, to fix. Uh, the way we do it. So basically, you take the thing and, and you you line it up like this. You take the you take the camera and you basically get it like this, and then you're gonna set your camera up. And there you go. Crop off the top of her head. Uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. Just take the whole flare in there. Yeah, yeah, no, we're going to use it. Basically, if the flare's there, we got to embrace it. you got to, you got to embrace it. I think I'm going to come in with a little bit of a wider shot. Let's try that. Do you want to turn the overhead light so you can see it better when you can focus? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, we got something going on there. I'm not yeah. sure what it is, but we All have right, something. Now I'm going to go lower. Smudge the lens up, right? Yeah, I'm going to smudge the lens. Straight on the lens. <laughs> hmm. We didn't get the flare there. Okay, so we got to come this way. You can never, you can never flare a lens when you want to. That's the rule of lens flare. That felt good. All right, so it's back there. So I'm in TTL, and it keeps it shifting because I'm moving the camera around. I'm going to move out of TTL. I'm going to leave it there because that's where I want it to be. Hmm. What? You got something? Seth has a plan. Let's try something while he's thinking. Side to the corner, and she moves over, then you probably got a bit of a. You're not going to get a flare off that angle. Nope, definitely not. So she should just move over to her right a little bit, and then. To my right or to camera? Camera. Yeah. And then just let that space eat up with the flare. Okay. See what I'm saying? Like it's mm -hmm. going to get that circle in there. You see the circle? I see the circle. The circle of life. Yeah. You got a circle of life. Yeah. So we're playing around. I mean, you can definitely. Uh, oh, yeah, that is kind of a cool circle. Mm-hmm. 
I agree. I think that's what we should do. Yeah. Let's push the light back. Let's get that light back. All right, we're moving it back. Get back. Uh, hey, 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 whoa, hey. Hey, Booby. Hey. All right. Hey, Oh, you and your Bert and Ernie laugh over here. I don't know what that means, but okay. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here because Seth's just moving stuff around randomly. <laughs> I like that your head is like exploding with lights. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, to be honest with you. So now you're stained glass. <laughs> yeah, right? It, if I can get it. You can see that my hair is not black anymore. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, your hair is definitely not black. It is brown. Oh. Wow. Just put the right behind the head, period. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, get low. Oh, okay, interesting. But yeah, I'm now turned into the light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, Ken. There's not many miles I get on my get on my knees for, but. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of like a hat. Can you get it behind your shoulder? Uh, not unless she's much taller or we lower the light. You can see the circle. Of the... You can see the circle. It's a circle of light. Oh, perfect. An apple box. <laughs> Thanks, Seth. All right, all right, all right, all right. Got to change a couple things. Your reflector placement was okay, but it's a little bit too low. Just okay. Just okay, because <laughs> now she's taller. If I? If you step back and zoom more. I'm going to step back. back and, then that yep. circle will get bigger, and you can just blow it around and break it up. I'm as zoomed as I can get, because I only have a 70. That's it. Oh. That's pretty, oh, pretty good. That is, a, that is a Fox 5 superhero. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, right? So, St. <laughs> Cain's? I like that, St. Cain's. So, you know, we're, we're creating a different effect, right? And you can see that basically she's being lit like pretty evenly and flat from the front. But, because this is, you know, her key light on her face. So you're getting this nice flat light. And then we're using the, the actual we're using it as a prop right now. And it's actually, uh, the sweater and everything, all the flyaways is kind of interesting. I, I think we're getting. Because it makes no sense to the gel anyway, right? Yeah, so let's kill let's the gel. Just, let's just burn it. All right, we're burning it. We're doing it. We're burning it. Oh my God, it's all dented. I know it's all dented. It's so dented. All right. Go get it. Go get it. It's all you, girl. All right. Just to confuse people, <laughs> I'm going to close down the lens to 5.6. <laughs> The reason why I'm going to do that is because I, I want a little bit more, especially with this, I, I think I want a little more depth to keep it look sharper. There we go. It's all about the angle. There we go. Oh, you like the whole space up there. Yeah, I am. That's not terrible. What is that black? Oh. Okay. This is pretty cool. Oh yes, I see a C stand arm back there. And the roll of paper. Yeah, I am. Okay, well, there's a C stand arm, which is a little bit weird, but there's not much I can do about that. That can be photoshopped out. Oh, oh my God! Oh, not Photoshop. And you're fired. Just kidding. <laughs> This bouncy light looks good on you, though. It's yeah. actually really interesting. So I'm loving the way the light's bouncing on her. I don't like the beauty dish anymore. I feel like I'm over it. I had, I had my moment. So what we're going to do is let's move it so it's only hitting this and only not hitting her. Yeah. You want to pitch it flat forward? Yeah, exactly. Because this is nice, right? This is, this is really nice punchy light on her, but this beauty dish in the background is like, what is that? It's a beauty dish, right? There we go. But what is that? What is that beauty dish? Full moon. Mm -hmm. It is the full moon. How's that? That is good. <laughs> well, you can you still be on this? Going. Yeah, well, I'm just going to, yeah. Yeah, go, uh, no. Yeah. No, stay, no. Stay, low. stay low. Stay low. Stay low. We're going to lower this. Not J-low, but stay low. 
J Lo was a sing. You know, I was one actress, I guess too. Multi talented. Oh, okay. Ooh, I like that. Okay. You would like that. You would. All right. That's 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 not terrible. All right. Hold on. Two inches up. All right. Good. I'm focusing. Here we go. Yeah. It's really hitting. It's hitting. The only thing we could flag it. That's the only thing I could do. Yeah, the only thing we could really do at this point if we don't want that flare, because everything else looks nice, is we could try to flag off just that part of her head. See that on a finger? A finger? Yeah, there's actually. This is, this, we go, you know, well, no, it's way too big. Finger? Yeah, well, because it's cooler. It's more official. Go shoot. Yeah, this is more official. You're in a little bit, Seth. Uh, a little more, right there. Boom. All right. There you go. Right. Backlit to the extreme. One flag. <laughs> one light. One Brooklyn reflector. Joined together to create. <laughs> An ethereal shoulders. An ethereal shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> it works though. So we've got a different look, right? And it's really interesting. It's one, only one light. No one can believe it. It's well, one well you better believe it. Yeah. I know. <laughs> so yeah, here we, here we are, right? We're, we're learning like how to shape the light and control it where it falls, right? Yeah. All that was it was an exercise in figuring out exactly where the light was falling. If we really wanted to be crazy, but Seth will kill me if I do it, we could try and bring the gel back in now. You, you want to do the gel? Because if we can get it on her shoulders. Yeah, but you're gonna see you're blowing light everywhere. Yeah. It's not gonna go through. Plus, you're at full power. It's not gonna saturate. Yeah. Unless so, you triple up. We're not going to do it because uh, I think it's probably not a good idea. You just got to stack it hard. Yeah, or can we get it in a place where... Oh, let me see you if you're looking forward. Okay. What if, we, what if we just float the gel like this? What do you want to do? Like, see, if you, if you floated the gel? Off of what? Like, I don't know, magic. You don't have an empty gel frame? Uh, yeah, sure. Magic? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't have <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. You ask and Seth provides. Really? That's, right? I mean, <laughs> you'll never know if something's available until you ask. Yeah. This is a Lowell one? I think so, right? Uh, Actually, what do you mean, Flashpoint? I don't think it's Flashpoint. This is the gel frame. So we're going to kind of float the gel out there and see if we can get a little bit of gel. See if we can gel it. And if not, then we're just going to try it. And if it, whoop, if it works, then it works. And if not, we'll move on. If there's one thing we can learn on Valentine's Day, sometimes you got to move on. <laughs> That's good. Oh, right there. Yeah. There you go. You got a little tint in there. Ooh. You are right, though. We need party. Yeah. <laughs> it does. like the gray everywhere, yeah. Yeah. Well, she's at a very gray party. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. It's not so much black tie, it's almost yeah. black tie. Well, I think what would be nice here, not to like get too picky, instead of the pink, if we went with like chocolate. Um, I, have like chocolate? chocolate. I have chocolate in my kit. Uh, I mean, it's Valentine's Day. Yeah. How are we not going to have chocolate? <laughs> By the way, you can also, like, if you have like fresh salmon or something. You put it on the grill, right? This is like the, put it, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? We can put the grill on and we can fish with it. <laughs> yes. You always be pan for gold. Oh, it I is. Got, I got really gross uh, industrial vapor if you want. I don't eat industrial vapor on Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, I oh, eat chocolate. Oh, chocolate. There it is. All right, that's my uh, personal gel, so don't. Well, you're going to put it on, it's yours. Milk, milk it, it is milk chocolate. All right, so lighting is like a box of chocolate. No. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that too. <laughs> That's because 
That's because she knows exactly how cheesy we are. <laughs> yeah, but it's like not even true because light is predictable. And so is a box of chocolates because if you just flip it open and read the inside, it's already there. They don't all do that. The good ones do. Well, I'm sorry. We're not all like bougie and get to have the good taco like Daniel Norton. That's right. By the way, you know what holiday tomorrow is. Tomorrow is all the candies half price day. So go down to the drugstore and get yourself some candy. It is true. Boom, they want to get rid of it, right? My best holiday of the year. I mean, if I was a kid, it was, you know, uh, Halloween because you got the free candy. Yeah. But, right. yeah, can we do it? Is it going to work? Yeah. Man, grab your camera. All right, I'm grabbing the camera. I mean, we're going crazy today. I've been on the B channel all day. <laughs> what does that even mean? I've been on channel three, group B. <laughs> group B. Group B. You I've been in the B group. group. Come on. Listen, it's <laughs> on Valentine's Day, all the A group people aren't here, so we're in the B group. Uh, you're in a bit, Seth? I'm in it. Yep. To win it. There we go. Focusing. Oh, well, let's do it with the eyes open. I haven't even seen it, though. It's, it's, blowing it's not. Through it. It's blowing through it. It's not a dense enough gel. All right, can I get a dense gel then? Hold on, let me show give you. Me, give me a dense gel. Do you want to do two, two layers of it? No, no, now I'm sad. Let's do blue. <laughs> Are you really going to make me take blue? Okay. Well, fine, I mean, fine. No, no. This is it. This is the last thing. Questions. <laughs> Thoughts, concerns, any questions? This could be it. I don't know what time it is. I'm assuming that we're still good. 6.05. Six oh, we got tons of time. I know we do. That's what's Do great. we have questions? <laughs> no, nothing. Okay, we're cruising. This is so great. We're doing this. Listen, this is how we roll. You, I mean, I, yeah. Can we try the light just on top of her head? You want to put a light on her head? What? <laughs> this guy's out of control you over said, here. You, you no. <laughs> you want to put the, the light on top of her head. All right, we'll try that. Right, we're gonna... That's your camera. So. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. As soon as you get the gel up, we're going to bang this out quickly, then we can put the light on top of her head. Do you guys have a fight before I <laughs> This is what happens every day. All right, here we go. Pretty, pretty. Wow. Uh, you know what? I'm sorry to say, and sometimes hindsight is, is, the, is the best thing. The pink one was the best. I know. We're going to do it again. She's like, it's blue. Yeah, it's there, but it's not like... The pink was the best. So what does that mean? Sometimes, if it's working, you just got to go for it. It's also a lot of power, though. It's not bad. So we got the pink. We tried the chocolate. Wasn't much. Okay. Right. Mixing it up. Trying to get it to work, playing with it a little bit, and remember How that patriotic you look. we are patriotic. <laughs> and in the end, I think just the regular clean nothing might be the best shot. So that's sometimes the way it works. You don't always use gels, but when I do, but when I do, <laughs> right? All right. So what you want the light over her head? Yeah, it's possible. Anything is possible. <laughs> uh, this is what I'm here if for. You have time to. I have all the time in the world. Like, I am, but I'm not going to do it the way down. that you want because I don't do what you want. So I'm going to put it over her head, but I'm going to use the card as the light source. Oh, Why? Because do do? I don't want to put the beauty dish over her head because beauty dishes are metal and heavy. And uh, yeah. Kate, it's not our That's right. So I'm going to take this like this. Now, the angle of incidence, right? Exactly. So we're gonna drop this guy. Oh. Hopefully not on kids. <laughs> hey, Vanessa Joy. That's right. Yeah. Every time you've watched this and you've seen me drop that, that's where the dents came from. All right, we're gonna bounce the light up. <laughs> There might be some truth to that. <laughs> you need help? Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm just messing with it a little bit here. Playing with it, doing the thing, ankle of incidents and all that. We're going to raise this up. 
So it's bouncing off of that. How's it look from the front? It's working. Uh, let me, uh, you're getting a heavy drop, like cheeks down. Okay. Good. You want to do a double reflector? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. Also got that Omega, which you make fun of all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then I need some gaffer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're all right. A little gaff action right here, maybe? What, to flag it off? Yeah, to flag it off the top of her head. Sure. All right, so we're going to use some gaffer tape. We're going to make a flag to flag the light off the top of her head a little bit. Because remember, the light's coming from the back. It's already going to seem really bright. So being more powerful, you're doing my inverse square math here. Like, it's going to be super overexposed. So we're going to try to flare that, flag that off a little bit. Another thing you could do is you could take, like, a diffusion gel and, and kind of tape it under there if you want to kind of fl flop it down. But we already asked for the tape, so... Think. We should be all right. Yeah, I mean, it's still hitting at the very top of her head, but it's okay. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. You have to do this. You do this a lot. How's that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. Man, this guy's on point. You're like the best ball boy ever. Right? Perfect. <laughs> wow, okay. All right. So. <laughs> wow. All right. So. Oh, my God. All right. So before we. Right, before we add the underneath light, I'll take a crappy shot. You just don't know we're out of cinefoil. All right. Calling for it. We don't have any more cinefoil. The Adirondack budget only calls for one roll per three years. And I cut through all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. So it's a little hot. It's a little hot, which is good because I'm in manual. You mm -hmm. probably could use a better flag than that too, huh? A little bit. All right. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do a little double, little double fill action. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Come on, Dan. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, she made that face. How did I? You're a real pro. I, 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 that's how you test a flash tube? Okay. Unbelievable. Now Seth has no more corneas. I'm blinder than Dan Norton now. This is amazing. <laughs> Which is hard to be, actually. Okay, this isn't directly over her head, but you're getting close. All right. She's all ready? clear. All right. All right, Seth, make sure you're not looking into the light. Here we go. Sorry. I mean, it's more fun when you do it on purpose. Okay. Good. Okay. Scared, yeah, you do look a little scared. Nice are, you, are you scared? Right I also look really white. <laughs> you are super white. Like the seamless paper from by Savage. All right, let's try one more time. It's getting late in the day. I'm going horizontal. Oh, yeah. I know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I need some more content for my web page. <laughs> so I got to go horizontal. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> you already got a flare. When we got a lens flare going on, let me increase the lens flare. You're such a class act. <laughs> Good. Focusing. Yeah. <laughs> nice placement. Well. Oh, yeah. That's the winner. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't. Just, oh, God. Kids, don't do this at home. I don't use those lens cloths. I don't know where they came from. I know my shirt's clean, more or less. That food time, yeah, real clean. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm dirtying up my lens. I used to use a Vaseline. Vaseline? This is a $2,000 lens. This is homegrown Vaseline, straight from the nose of Norton. Come on. That's right. There's a, that was a lot of are cheeseburgers. You, are you to using make this the Ayashika? using the Ayashika camera. If I was a. Uh, if I was a wedding photographer in the 80s, I would do this. And I am. Uh, I wasn't even born. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, okay, well, uh, now I'm a ghost. I think Mark Wallace did just do this. Actually, no, I just did this on IGTV. Oh, Actually, yeah. <laughs> with a speed light. <laughs> with a speed light. So if you have the question, could you do this with a speed light? Yes. You probably should be doing this with a filter, though, and not on your lens. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. But since I have absolutely no respect for this lens, apparently. Wow. 
Well, that's a bit much. OK, I'm gonna, let's forget that that happened. No, no, you're living with it. No, no. no. All right, so that's being cleaned off now. <sighs> there you go. You got you to blow on it. Make sure you spit on it a couple times. Well, that I wouldn't do, because saliva has uh, you know, certain qualities that I wouldn't like. There we go. Back up a little bit. Good. Good. Oh, I forgot you guys were here. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> right, so now we've got kind of a bounce light from over overhead, right? We don't want to put the light directly over her head because, go ahead and take a step forward. See how I'm doing this for you anyways? Because I'm nice. If we go directly overhead, the closer she is to the light, the more downwards these shadows are going to go. So it's probably not going to look as good. You can reflect if it's possible. I don't know if you can get it reflected from there. No. I am flaring like crazy. Oh, actually, you can see the shadows dropping, but it's, it's not terrible. So, I mean, there you go. Weird milk fade yeah. Well, I'm getting a flare now because of the angle of instance. All right, cool. Questions, thoughts, concerns? No, yes. With setup that's focused more on headshots, um, would you do the same thing if you were doing full body? Or, you know, would it be the I'm sorry. Go back to the original position. Yeah. I'm going full body. Oh, boy. Well, I'm going to try. You know, reflector, obviously. Now, we can't use the reflector because we're full body, right? Which means that we're going to have to see what, ah, I went down hard there. I may not recover. Right? So, you can, right? But now I don't have that fill, so you can look at the, the thing. So, this is not, would not be ideal. If I was going to shoot her full body, I would probably not put the light behind her like I'm doing. This is, this is a little bit more specific. Let's do a full body shot because why not? People ask me full body shots every day. Cadence has a got that big oval diffuser panel too. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> Seth has stuff. Who makes it? Uh, take a guess. Flashpoint? I mean. We'll try it. This is the flashpoint. No, glow it's called now. The glow. Oh, jeez. Wow. So this will become the light source. So yep. therefore. Yeah. So this is the glow. 40 something, it's an oval. It's an oval. It's an oval, you can find it's it. Gavin Hoey sized. <laughs> this oval is actually bigger than Gavin's studio. <laughs> All right, so. You want to put it above and we shoot the light through? That's our plan? Yeah, that's what I figured, All right, that's right? good. Yeah. I'm Just down. It's like a clean, simple, easy, big light. Clean, simple, easy, big light. That's my middle name. It's a long middle name, but some of us have, you know. All right, so you don't have a softbox or a big enough softbox. So you can use one of these oval diffusers. They are, uh, you know, relatively inexpensive. Yeah, they're dumb cheap. Dumb cheap. It's <laughs> 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 right. an understandable term. Yeah, no, I understand it. I'm down with the kids. Um, what do you want to do for the... Uh... We'll do a reflector. Okay. Oh, no, hold on. We're doing a full length shot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going full length, so no reflector. Okay. All right, and because Cadence is cool. Ellen? Yep. She's going to come closer to the wall, like all like. Like yeah. a Like a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Yes. Don't do me like that. Don't. I'm sorry. Is there a microphone on me? All right, so here we go. I've got my light source. I've got my glow oval teen. Oval teen. <laughs> oh my god, it's a heavy sandbag. I have the only sandbag in Adorama. You see how he treats my stuff? Okay. You should see him in Adorama. You should see. All right, so I'm gonna. Okay. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna basically set up for a full length shot. What we wanna do with the full length shot, ideally, 
is set ourselves up so that the light source is going to be fairly even across our entire voltage. Yep. Like that, at a little angle. Now, we can clearly see that there's a shadow <laughs> there, but this is a pretty soft light, so we'll see what happens. Should be, should be okay. She can be, maybe take one step off the wall. Oh, yeah, so it's not quite there. All right. I'm at 35 millimeters. Oh, Gavin's here. Hey, Gavin. He, actually, ask him if the oval is, what size is it? Ask him, you have the mic. Oh, hey, Gavin, is, the, is this oval reflector bigger than your studio? Inquiring minds want to know. All right. Whoa. What happened? I'm in manual. <laughs> Going back to TTL. Cool. All right. A little hot. Smidge. We're going to make an adjustment. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. All right. So what's important here with the full length shot is that as much as possible, we want the light to be even, you know, evenly distributed on her body. So you can see it pretty much is, right? It falls off a little bit at her feet, but not too bad. Ah. There we go. If, if we didn't want a shadow on the wall, we would need space, would be ideal, right? Because the space is gonna allow us to pull away from the wall. We probably could do that, but I'm not going to. Um, I, another thing that's good is a puppet or a, a potato sack for your laundry. What are you doing? Or you can, well, you can just drape this so that it's like at least a bounce from the other side. Well, and just use a card. You could use a card, but does the other? I'm saying you could just use that reflector as a. Total. Oh, I see. All right. It's a total package. A total package. You could do that, or you could buy the Westcott one that comes with two interior yeah, pieces, and then you have. Yeah, you, know. you could. Yeah, I mean, it, that's what I would do. But this is good. No, it's right. When you have this little thing here, you might as well use it, right? The potato sack. The potato sack. Can you give me the clamp off the? Oh, I got it. We're looking for clamps. 650 pin, not a clamp. Where did this, oh, it came from there. Okay. All right, we're gonna do a little bounce, and then we'll have a full length shot, and there you go. I am all about pleasing you today. Clearly, you would roll the paper out, but we only get one roll of paper a year, and it's already depleting, and it's only February. I don't know. Also, we could just have the showman hold it. Yeah, we can hold it. Well, it's not easy to hold. That's the thing. Yeah, well, it's not. I don't know how I did this to I'm happy with that. Thanks, Seth. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see the difference. Already. I can see the difference already. There you go. There you go, right? Now we've got clean machine, or moody, Judy, if you want to make rhymes. All right, questions, thoughts, concerns, nada. All right, I think we're good. So what we've seen here tonight, I think, is that you can do a lot with uh, one light. I will be back next week. Yeah, you're doing, uh, no. yeah. next week you're doing head, go to headshots. Next week we're going to do headshots. So uh, be here, or be square, be there, whatever it is. We're going to do uh, three uh, headshots. I will be at WPPI, uh, as will Seth, uh, in, in uh, March, uh, no, February 26th. So if you guys are in WPPI, check me out. I'll be there. I got a couple photo walks going on. So does Seth. So uh, plus we'll just be around. Seth's going to be in the Westcott booth a whole bunch. I'll be in the Savage booth. We'll be chilling, so, yep. Tell them you got to sign up for the... Yeah. Oh, the walks have to sign up. Yeah. yeah, you got to sign up for the photo walks, but I think, I think they're full, but All get right, on the way. Well, 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 they were full, 
like two weeks ago, they told me mine were full, but they were going to add three extra spots. So what if you just show up? You better not just show up. If there's a, I don't know if they're full or not, because, uh, go but, but go to the website, try to sign up. WPPI, WPPI 2019 uh, Expo. WPPIExpo.com. Expo. WPPI Expo. Dot com. And go to speakers, then find our names. Yeah, and then just find our names. It's easy enough to do. So you can do that. Um, the other thing that's going on here is if you are local, meaning you're right here in, in the store, uh, anything you buy tonight, your total order, you'll get $10 off. Yeah. So if you want to buy stuff, this is a good time to do it. Um, I guess follow me, Daniel Norton Photographer, if you guys don't already. Uh, Cadence Frank. <laughs> and of course, Seth. Last expertness and happy Valentine's Day, guy. Thanks for coming. Thank you.